What's going on guys, it's Kane here, back with the Dreadful the Breaker Season 3 video, and in today's video, we'll be revisiting BABA because I think um, a lot of people picked this up, uh, myself included, that Frieza Force tech would actually be a pretty good passive to complement BABA, who, uh, you know, is good in like being in the sky, moving in the air, and being able to float and fly, isn't really the greatest in terms of like moving around on the ground. So having a vehicle at spawn thanks to Frieza Force tech can actually uh, really benefit her. So we're gonna go ahead and equip this passive on Baba and see how much it uh, benefits the Baba experience, right? So in terms of my other passives, I have landing delay, uh, exploration enthusiast for skills, extra driver speed boost, and I have my regular um, active skills. Instead, uh, instead of a pose or a stun, I have Dragon Ball Diviner, uh, just because I think, uh, you know, with Dragon Ball Diviner and this uh, free supports tech giving us a vehicle at the very start, we could uh, get a head start to the Dragon Balls as fast as possible and potentially get a little before, right? So we're going to see if we're going to be able to do that and uh, make the Baba experience a little bit better. So let's go ahead and queue up and play some games and see how we do with this passive with Baba. Alrighty, so for our first match here, we're going up against a level 39 cell. Oh, I think it's Cats, actually. Let's go to Cats. And so Waterfront War Zone, in terms of our survivor levels here, we have a 72, a level 200 myself, 194, a 120, a 166, a level 100, and a 129. So I am solo queuing. I do not know any of these uh, survivors. I don't think I recognize any of their names here. But uh, the pretty much uh, the point of this build is just to see how much uh, Baba improves with having a vehicle at the very start of the match. Now, of course, if you don't have Frieza Force Tech, you could just equip the Bulma Bike, which is an active skill that you could call like every 60 or 70 seconds. I forget what the cooldown is. So you could use that. You don't really need the passive here. But I just wanted to see how it works with Baba, and it'd be kind of cool to see uh, Baba rocking the Frieza Pot. <laughs> terrifying. Actually terrifying. All right, let's see what the Dragon Ball is. It's got one there, one there. Okay. All right, that guy's got that one. Well, somebody already beat me to the Dragon Ball without even needing a Dragon Ball Diviner. Interesting. Actually going to need a barrier here, so I don't believe I have a little barrier. Okay. The, the only thing about Dragon Ball Diviner, I don't know about y'all, like, after I use it, I totally forget where all the balls are at. I don't know. I, I just, like... <laughs> I'm not a really good uh, short-term memory when it comes to the balls and stuff. Right, let's go ahead and save this Civ with our Baba Blicky, take out these boxes. Super rocket. All right. So in terms of how we're doing this match, we got a key within a minute, which is pretty good. You can't really complain there. Uh, about to get Dragon Ball Diviner back already. Getting down to area destruction like that is a little wild. Maybe they were trying to uh, plant the key before the area got destroyed. Okay, we got Dragon Ball right here. Ooh. Damn it. All right, I don't got the vehicle jump boost, so I'm about to go around. I do think uh, having Dragon Ball Diviner with the um, Exploration Enthusiast definitely helps. I mean, even if I don't get a level 4, I would like just to have the team get the level 4, right? Alright. So in terms of Baba, uh, it's been brought to my attention that the vehicle speed boost actually does not decrease her default speed. So that's why uh, her rocking vehicles is definitely like really helpful. This cell is munching on civvies, man. Just munching and munching on civvies. Planted a key, which is pretty good. It would be good to uh, find the rest, though. The cell is making some really good progress here. All right, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six. Six balls. We're missing one. So that means I could find the last one with Diviner. Let me see where it's at. Dragon Ball Diviner! Okay, last one is up there. Let me go grab that and give it to the team. I, I mean, this is pretty cool. Using Dragon Ball Diviner with Baba at the vehicle speed. Like, I am schmooving with this, right? Now, of course, you could do this with a Bulma bike, but we are schmooving in Freeze's pod. We're schmooving in style, which, you know, I think is better than using Bulma's bike. Come on. That thing's been nerfed to hell. All right. So now we got the remaining Dragon Ball. Let me just get to the guys. Let's see if we can outrun Cell here. I don't know if he saw me. I think he did. What? I don't know if I can outrun Cell with this, to be honest with you. I don't know if he's shooting at me. Okay. Alright. Let's see if this guy either wants me to give him my balls or if he gives me his. Let's see what he wants. What's the word? Alright. Yo! No, 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 no. You don't get to take my pod. 
No, no, no. You don't get to take my pod and then I give you the What are you doing, Diego? What are you doing? That's mine, bruh. I spent a lot of money for that, man. What are you doing? I literally found the remaining balls with that. Where <laughs> I've been pod napped. Give it back, bro. Please. What? Oh my god. Dude, you got it destroyed, you moron! Oh my god. What an idiot! Stole my pot and then destroyed it. Thank you. I imagine Cell has the remaining balls. He does. Alright. Oh. That's not good. Damn it, I was hoping I could shove them out of the way. Alright, so let's go ahead and just do what I like to do with Baba and just be very sneaky. What? Why did Diego do that, bro? That was so mean, man. This is soda beneath me. Wish I had instant descent, bro. I wish I had instant descent, man. Okay. There you go. Let's grab this. Get D change back. Bruh, he literally has enough down people to get his level 4 now. Okay. What? Ooh! Okay. We got it. Nice. See ya! He must know. He must know. He's probably chasing because he must know. Let's see what he does. Let's see if we can get this. Does he use area destruction? Can we get this? I think we got it. Ooh, okay. Okay, although we did get pod nap thanks to Diego, we were able to get level four because of the Viner and um, the passive. So W, W actually. All right, we got him here. Is he solar flare? He volleys though, okay. Oh my god, that doesn't help, bro. Not sure what his game is. Okay. Let's pop this, get some distance. Damn, he actually aimed that. Okay. Trying to trick him. Is somebody gonna set the key? Okay, I was gonna say, bro. <laughs> I guess we could pop this. Because I don't have auto barriers, so I'm gonna need that in case uh, I do get popped here. Dude, how do we only have. How did, when did two people die? Hello? Okay. I mean, so far this build has been somewhat a success. I'm not gonna lie. But it's just whether or not we can get this dub, right? Alright, let's move in. Toss this. Okay. Damn it. Okay. Okay. Got him there. Okay. I'm gonna play around the STM. Got you, Cell. What's good, bro? I would love to have like even a little bit of help. Trying to use SDM as cover. What the hell? How'd that? Oh, okay, okay. All right, we're cooking a little bit. That's too far away. Trying to dodge this. Taking some damage. All right, got him there. Someone hit him with. The monkey? I'll 
Okay, supplies are dropping. This is good. This is good. Even if I die here, we got supplies. Oh. No! Okay. I tried my best, dude. Yeah, I'm cooked here. Aw, oh, man. Damn, bro! I mean, dude, I held them off for a long-ass time, man. How did only one person have their dragon change? I held them off for, like, 13 years. Bro, that was all because I got caught by one melee. What are these guys doing, man? Please res me. Oh man. Dude. SDM is like not cooked at all either, bro. Alright, we just need to get our dragon change and try to kill him, I guess. Hopefully. God, this res felt like it took 10 years to go off. Alright, he's far away, which is good. Okay, soda. He's probably coming over here now. He's not. Okay. Simply terrifying. Okay, can we get our level three? Damn, I can't res that guy. I'm gonna play STN. That's all I can do. Oh! Got it back just in time, bro. Oh, come on, bro. What? Oh, my God. Is there another soda left? There's two sodas left. One of your allies needs some help. Damn it, bro. That's it. All right, what does he do here? He has to go for STM now. I get the soda. Okay, let's see what we can do. But why? Oh my god, why the starting animation? How does that work? Solar flare. Holly. Okay, bro, if only I had one person up with me. That's it. That's it, bro. GG's. Fuck, man. Damn it. All right. I think if we had, like, not to shit on these guys, but we had, like, one competent player with me, bro, I think we could have piled out a W there. But shout outs to this Raider. Or shout outs to Cats. I think this was Cats. GG's. Um, I, caught, I got caught in one melee combo, bro, and that was it. I felt like I carried as much as I could, dude. But that, that was a good close game. I felt like, although we took an L, I think it was clear to see that this build um, does help you get the Dragon Balls pretty fast. Of course, again, you could use bike as the active skill, but I think Frieza Force Tech works as well. Uh, but you could use bike and Frieza Force Tech. That way you have two vehicles, right? You have one on the cooldown, you can just use the other, right? So let's go ahead and uh, run up another match or two and see how we uh, fare. But solo queue is solo queue. I feel like I did as much as I could this match, but it is what it is. Alrighty, for our next matchup here, we're heading to Highland River, going up against a level 92 Ginyu Force. In terms of our survival levels, we have an 87, a 191, a 200 myself, a 104, a 180, a 181, a 171. So we got a pretty uh, stacked team compared to the last one. Maybe the last one was a little more mixed. So this one is a little higher. We got, you know, I don't even want to say like level 100 is a low level because it's not really like low, low. Actually, is that Diego? I don't know. I think that was a different Diego that stole my uh, pod in the last one. All right. Um, I, you know, I, I do think the build was successful technically last game. It was just unfortunate that we weren't able to, uh, take out sell there but i mean listen man i i could only do so much on my own i feel like i was practically 1v1 wanting sell like that entire thing there i didn't have any help for my team but i don't know if we had like one buddy that was good at the game that helped me um i feel like we could have clutched that one out i mean i want to say those guys were like dog doo-doo at the game but like listen man it just it just felt like it was me against the world in that one at least when it came to fighting so all right so we got Okay, we got Dragon Ball right in front of us. And we got one up there as well. Okay. So, Goldo's out. I would like to get my level 1 as well, though, just because uh, we get caught by Goldo, then we're just giving him the balls for free. I heard a city. So, okay, let's save the sieve. Right, we're doing pretty good on keys. I already got two keys within a minute. That's actually very good progress. 
Goldo's not doing too bad either, though. He uh, is halfway to his level 2 already. I actually should be opening up some craze because that will be giving me back uh, Dragon Ball Diviner. Let's open up this one. I don't know if the ball was in here, but it's nearby here. Okay. So those two guys have balls. Let me go look elsewhere. I thought he was coming to give me. Oh, he is. Okay. Dude, I don't know what it is. Some people just give me the balls, I think, because my name is Iron Kane. <laughs> or maybe they know. Maybe they know I'm rocking this build. We'll say floating device would actually be good here. Uh, just to like pop and like jump with the vehicle, but I uh, actually unequipped it to get a stun because I feel like a stun would have been really helpful last match. All right, so we got two balls, one in the caves, one in the water. So we'll grab this one over here. Goldo's still level one, and we're making really good progress in terms of balls and like the objective. So that's three. Somebody has one. Let me get the one in the caves. Okay. Should be able to jump out of this even without jump boost. People are uh, marking the keys are being done. Like they're not denying them. Oh, I think we're gonna have to abandon our bike for our pod. No, damn it. Well, that's really sucky actually. Brother, if I would have had vehicle jump boost, we would have been able to get the the pod out. But unfortunately, we're gonna be losing our gamer chair. Bro, that sucks, man. Now I can't use it anymore. I have to grab a new vehicle. I think there's some. Uh... Oh, you want to give me your ball, dude? Thank you. I think there's some. Actually, let's see where the last two balls are. Oh! All friends, Pupple has one, and Diego has one. Oh, thank you, dude. I actually need that. Is this guy IT to me? Oh. Okay. Thank you. Hopefully this is still here. Oh! Okay. Right, let's go ahead and grab it from this guy. So I think we got, what, two or three balls on our own? And then we got, uh, like, a couple from the other guys. Okay, I'm just going to use my dragon chains here. Okay. I think I'm going to go summon in B. That's typically the safest place to summon. I want the safest places to summon anyway. Raccoon could use area destruction though, but we do have IT. So we could IT to make a quick escape. Let's see if we can get this off here. Alright, he's busy grabbing a sieve or something. No area destruction. Okay, he did use area destruction. That's tough. Okay. Unfortunately, no one was at a at a pedestal for me, which kind of sucks. But the uh, STM should be out. Those guys are working on a key. God, I wish I had a vehicle, bro. <laughs> so slow. All right, so on paper, we should be able to get the summon because Jason Birder should be busy with defending the STM. Let's see what they're doing. Does he know where I am? How does he know? Does he know? He doesn't know. Okay, okay. Alright. Um. Alright. I don't know why he came all the way over to D. Alright, so we gotta be careful because we don't have a dragon chain, so that, doesn't mean, that means we don't have any armor to, like, uh, get the summon off, so we gotta be careful here. Alright, he, he's going back to the STM. I don't know why he immediately made his way over to D. I think D is the safest place to summon besides, like, C. Is that floating device? So could use that. All right. So let's uh, get ourselves a level four here. Okay. Should be able to get this off. Oh, yeah, he has air destruction too, doesn't he? Yeah, he does. Damn it. All right. Actually, I don't know if we're going to make it in time. I had to use that just in case, bro. Oh my god, man. This guy just uses air destruction up the ass. I wish I had, like, floating device, because I could have potentially used it to get to another summoning pedestal faster. Okay. We're getting supplies out. He knows we have the balls still. Is this a soda? 
That's a soda that's good. I can have a uh, little protection. It's too close, dude. Alright, he used the super attack, though. So he's not going to be able to snipe us. Okay, yeah. Surprised he actually didn't come to chase us. He could have potentially uh, used his key blast to uh, take out our transformation. Only thing that sucks here is that we can't really counter Jason Birder in terms of key blast, so we have to play this smart for stun and stuff. Oh my god, he's immediately going for me. Did not expect that. Let's talk, toss more of these. If we can get a stun, we can get him here. That missed? Okay, we got our grapple. I think we got a grapple out of here. Our SDM is cooking. Right, so we got him with G-Blast. All right, so I can toss out a super here to get him on um, mid-transformation. Just got a time it right. He posed. I think it's way too early. Okay. Right, he wasted his uh, break strike. Oh, he's body changing? Dude, you just sold. Okay, we got this game. GG's. GG's. I don't know why he chose the body change at this point. But the SDM's so close. Oh, Kid Boo v Kid Boo. Okay. Oh my god, we're cool. Yeah, we got this, bro. Yeah, if we don't kill him, SDM's gonna activate. GG's. Okay. All right, so we're able to take a dub here. Of course, we did have some help getting the Dragon Balls. But um, I think Frieza Force Tag does help Baba in terms of movement. I think they need to kind of rework Baba a little bit, man. Because if she's going to be so slow on the ground, at least make her faster in the air. Because it, it's kind of silly to, like, even need to use vehicles with her. Because, like, she doesn't even move that fast in the air anyway. I mean, I guess the whole thing is that she can fly. But, like, is that impressive that she's so, like, absurdly slow overall? But uh, I think this will do it, boys. I don't know if we're going to be able to get a better showing than those um, two matches that we had. So uh, let me know in the comments below what you think of Baba overall, what you think of Frieza Force Tech overall. If you see yourself using this passive to make uh, Baba play a little bit better. If you uh, find yourself using Boma Bike, because I think Boma Bike is also helpful. Maybe we can revisit this down the line using Boma Bike, um, this passive, using Instant Descent. Uh, you know, I, I think there's still some builds that we could use to explore with Baba, but... This is the one I wanted to try with uh, Golden Freezer's new passive. But yeah, guys, like the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe to the Iron for more showcases like these. Funny moments, highlights, all that good stuff. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care. Stay safe. Peace out. Have fun.